car area networks. You know those times when you're like lying in bed and you're just thinking about the past and the future and things you want to do and all that stuff? Well, last night I was lying in bed thinking, as I often do when I'm trying to get to sleep, about planning all of the things moving forwards that I want to create both for this car and for this channel and, dare I say, for the world. And it got me thinking about when I was back at university down in Bournemouth in the year 2000. And in the year 2000, LANs, local area networks, were like just getting into the house. It wasn't a big thing. Obviously, they were invented in the late 60s and, you know, have been used to connect computing systems for a long time. But they didn't really start to come into the home until the very late 90s, very early noughties. And even then, they were an emerging technology, and we spent a lot of time looking at building out those technologies and configuring lands and all the kind of stuff you do in a multimedia communications degree. And there was talk at the time about a concept, a cool thing that might happen in the future, which was called a PAN, a personal area network. And it was this kind of futuristic idea that maybe some point in the future, we'd all be walking around with this network of devices on us that all talk to one another. And, you know, considering at the time the big phones were like the Nokia 3310 and the Motorola Razr, that seemed like something that was just a pipe dream of the future. But now we take it for granted. Obviously, our phones talk to our watches and talk to our headphones and talk to our smart glasses and all these other kind of things that we have that are all interconnected on our person. I was lying in bed last night thinking about that. And thinking about the project that I've started with this brake light system that's running now in the back of my car, well, it will be as and when I finish it, but I started thinking, what about a car area network? What would that look like? And how could we create some kind of service that anybody could install into their car and connect up a load of things that they wanted to create? It's almost like the Internet of Things, but for your car. Now I have a long history of application design. I was a designer developer when I first left university and then from like 2007 onwards to you know two or three years ago I worked as an application designer and developer. So I have a lot of experience in that kind of stuff and interconnected devices and services and all that kind of application layer development and it got me thinking maybe maybe we've got something here. So something you're going to see from me going forwards now is the development of a fully open source, fully transparent, fully extendable car area network service. What the hell is that? So let's take an example. The idea is We've got my brake light thing that I've been working in the back and it's got a standard DRL light. It's got a brake light. It's got the underglow and you can set the underglow color from a mobile app. That's it. And then I've got a switch in my dash here, which turns the underglow on and off and that senses and turns the underglow on and off. But if I want to change anything, so say I want to change the default brightness of the DRL, I have to take the project box out of the car and unclip it, take it into my house, plug it into a computer and then update it. Not really the ideal way of going about things. So I can't update anything on it live other than the things I've specifically programmed into the application, the mobile application. And I have to have my phone on me. I have to have all that in order to make any of those changes. And I thought, wouldn't it be good if instead, when I open this little cubby here, which has got my switches and everything in for my neon lights, instead of having that there, we had a little screen with maybe a twisty knob and some buttons or some kind of input that allowed me to then go in and change the settings for my light without needing my phone or anything, but also be able to do it on my phone if I wanted. And I have other things that I want to add into the car that are little Arduino projects. So for example, I have a thing that I want to do with the gear stick, which is uses hall sensors and a magnet in order to sense what gear I'm in, in order to display a 
gear output and then use a tiny little like round screen in the top of a custom made gear knob which can show the gear in some way or you know have a rev thing on it rev arc so that might be a thing and then i also want a project where i can have a custom gauge readout that comes from the canvas and there's you know there's loads of those kind of little projects and at the moment, the way I've done it is building just the single thing for the lights means that that's a self-contained thing. And then the gear stick thing would be a self-contained project. And the canvas thing would be a self-contained project. But what, what if they were all part of the same service? So what we do is create a server, which is an ESP32 with some inputs and a screen, which knows how to change settings but it doesn't know what any of the settings of the things are then all of the things that we install in the car are devices or clients that connect to that server when we start the car up and it tells it what settings it has so for example the lights start up they connect to the server and it does all of this through bluetooth and then it says hi i'm called spoiler alert and i have a light that can be turned on and off i have a brake light that can be turned on and off a neon light that can be turned on and off and a neon light where you can set the colors and i have a default brightness and a maximum brightness here are the values and the the server knows okay well this one is a button type so it you know creates a button and then this one is a color type so it creates a color selector and all the server does is receive the options for the various things that are connected to it and then sends back new information when we change those things. But then we can also have a mobile app that talks to the server and replicates the settings that come on that. So we can then do it all through the mobile if we wanted to. What that would mean is we could make a completely extendable open source system where anybody could go and create devices that interacted with that server in the same way and have them connect and manageable through our open source server control system, our car area network. I think that's pretty cool. And I think there's loads and loads of stuff that I would like to do. And I think there's probably hundreds of people out there that would like to be able to submit their own designs and their own devices and their own interactive things to a service like that that allow people to then manage it. And if we did it all open source, we can make sure everybody shares all of the code, we share the PCB designs, we share component lists, we share everything to do with the building of the application and make it so that people can create really cool custom Arduino stuff for their cars. So that's what hit me last night. I was lying in bed and I just thought about that and I've been excited today about it in principle. And I've started looking at it and, you know, an ESP32 can connect to four other devices, which is probably going to be more than enough for most people who want to put things into their car using Bluetooth. And even if you want to go bigger than that, there are other ESP type devices that uh, can do it. Otherwise, you could do it with Wi-Fi instead of using um, Bluetooth. But <laughs> I think we could do some really cool stuff. And then, you know, people could submit their own uh, user interfaces for the control screen, different ways of interacting. Like, I have a design and a screen and a setup and a 3D printable thing that will work for a 350Z. But maybe someone out there has got a Honda Civic and they want to make a screen that works as a control screen that is custom made for that car. And we could do that and make that available and start to build up basically a library of things internet of car stuff so what i wanted to do with this video is saying that alongside all the kind of stuff doing up this car and the other ones that we've got coming we're going to be building this complete open source operating system car area network system and starting to make it available for other people to build stuff on top of so yeah, I'm, like I say, I do have a lot of experience doing that kind of stuff and it will all be on GitHub and it'll be properly repoed and you know there'll be all those kind of checks and everything that goes in behind the scenes. But what I would like to know is A, do you think it's a good idea? And if so, B, what 
things do you think would be cool to add to it? Like I've mentioned a couple, you know, you know, having the ability to do custom gauge readouts and change them and the, the display on the gauges and all that kind of stuff would be really cool. I've got a really specific need for mine is the fact that I switch between different wheels depending on like street or drift or whatever. And the tyre sizes are all slightly different. And because the tyre size sizes are different, the speedo readouts change depending. So like on my current daily wheels, the tyres on the back are too small. They should be too... 55 45 and i think they're two 35 40 so they're like six or eight percent too small which means all my speedo readings are out so at 30 miles an hour the one on my cluster in front of me reads like 40 and the one on my little electronic one reads about 34 so i'd like to be able to have a readout that i can adjust and say okay well i've got a wheel on that's six percent smaller so i adjust my readout by six percent so I've actually got a truer reading of knowing what speed I'm going. You know, it's stuff like that. So yeah, what kind of projects and what kind of services, I think is probably the best name for them, would you want to add or would you want to see built? What would be really cool that you'd like to add in your car? I'd love to hear your ideas, so just throw them down in the comments. Now, I don't want this to become a programming YouTube channel. That isn't my intention at all. We do car stuff. But I think looking at these technologies and using things like Arduino and the connectivity of things to make cool, unique stuff for cars, especially when we're taking a car like this, which is, you know, from the early 2000s, which is a little bit lacking in some of its modern features and being able to figure out a way of bringing those modern features into the car in a way that feels OEM, but is also embracing of those new technologies, I think is something that is definitely cool and definitely worth looking at because there's not really a lot of people who do it. So what I'm going to do over the next few days is take a look at expanding the brake light application that we've already done and actually creating a second ESP32 that acts as the server. So see if I can get it that the new one, the server one, can update all of the settings on the light application without having to have all of the specifics of what it does programmed into it and then see if I can get that to be controllable by the mobile app and have it so it becomes expandable. So in the next few days we'll put out the first video looking at that. Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to go. I'm pretty confident that we can do it but yeah and then we'll start showing out the code and letting you guys take a look at it and see what you can build. But like I said, yeah, we've got loads of cool stuff coming on these niche and quite specific car modifications. Um, so if you do like that kind of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you enjoyed this as a principle, give it a little thumbs up so I know that you think it's a good idea. And like I said, if you've got any ideas of the things that you'd like to see made, stick them in the comments and let me know. We'll be back real soon with the next video. So whatever you do with the rest of your day, have a wicked one and I'll see you then. Take it easy, peeps. Bye-bye.